All right, we're done. We have built out all the features. We have a back end. Uh, we would potentially want to deploy this somewhere. Uh, so what are our options? Well, in uh, because this is Rust and it's a compiled language, we compile the project into a single binary file, and then we can execute it on the server of our choice. Now, what can be these servers? Well, it could be anything really. It could be our own server. Let's say you have a Raspberry Pi, or you actually have a racked server in your house that's just in your basement or someplace that you could just throw it on there. So you know, SSH in, SCP it in, go in and um, get uh, get pull, compile there or compile somewhere else. It doesn't really matter. You get the binary onto that server and then you execute it. Um, or you can put it onto a VPC. Well, a VPC is just somebody's computer in the cloud that you have access to, that you could SSH into, get the binary onto there, and then also have it be executed and run. Our next options are container services. So this would be something like Amazon's um, Elastic Container Service, so ECS, or a, a, a Kubernetes thing where you're just having uh, um, uh, something run a whole bunch of your servers at the same time, just in case you need to scale up infinitely. Um, now, if you're gonna go the route of uh, not containerizing it, but you're gonna run it on your own system, I highly recommend having some kind of Nginx or load balancer running outside of the VP, um, outside of, well, your binary. It could be on the same VPC or it could be outside of it. Now, in the case of like Amazon, if you're using AWS, you're probably going to have a load balancer and then you have your VPC and then you have your binary on that VPC running. Now, the reason for that is TLS. Um, it is not a best practice to put TLS inside of our web servers uh, simply because it's just a nightmare to maintain. It's a nightmare to to set up and do. And every time you change the certificate, you have to do a new deploy and you don't want to do that. Instead, you wanna put that inside of something like Nginx, a load balancer, and all the encrypted traffic goes from our end users, so the, the browsers, to the Nginx. Then Nginx can talk HTTP to the server, but that's in a private network that nobody else should be able to access. So that should be fine. Anyways, that's a lot, I know, but uh, that's general idea of deployment and uh, hopefully should get you where to go. Now, deploying this, pretty much gonna be exactly the same as deploying anything else. So with that, um, good luck with that. Uh, I don't think we have anything else besides the uh, the project for, well, this course and uh, and then any addendums that we add in later on. So with that, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.